Good, here we go. So, big box, envelope. Little envelope. The little envelope says Dakoni. So, it probably is going to be... Pats. Oh, if I almost went through the fucking gap, that would have been amazing. What the hell are you? HD 600 standard velour. Oh, shit. Are they trying to be that guy? Because I am pretty fucking insistent that you can't change HD 600 pads and make them sound as good as the stock pads. So I think what they're doing here, which would make the most sense, is to not try to improve HD 600s, just um, literally just make their stock pads. A couple fuzzies on here. But they, they look like the stock pads. They feel like the stock pads. I don't think there's a solid ring in the... Um, my HD 600s, they're not up here, are they? Have, have gone years. Non-memory foam. Yeah, they're literally going to try to emulate HD 600 pads. I hope they succeed because I, even if they charge the same amount as Sennheiser, I would buy them from Dakoni because fucking Sennheiser charges too much for those shitty pads. I'd rather give it to the Dakoni boys. This is a mysterious box. Um, I had to drive my truck to my mailbox because obviously DHL wasn't coming up the driveway. As soon as there's three inches of snow, they're like, nah, nah, fuck snow, snow's stupid. I am utterly bewildered. Maybe not utterly bewildered, but what the fuck is that doing here? Why? It's not even that soft an edge, like if you had to double it up. And... Wait, is this more of it? Were they trying to block it from the, the drug sniffing dogs? I'm super confused. Okay. We're going to dismantle this box, apparently. Not just take it apart. Dismantle it. Whoa, that's a, is that another thing? This might be officially the weirdest wrapped box I've ever unwrapped. Yeah, that's a tape spool. That's a Chinese tape spool. They literally ran out of the tape on it and just went, ah, fuck it, and folded it down. What is this? What is this box? Who dare give me the raspberry? I'm glad you're all here. I'm glad I filmed these. Because no one would believe... I would have to describe this to someone. Be like, yeah, I got this weird-ass box. I had other... Like, they were reinforcing the box. I guess it's a little shitty, but... There's better... There's more intuitive and... Less insane ways to do it than what the fuck they did. Holy shit. Alright. Oh my science. I take it all back. The XD05 balanced. Absolutely worth getting my truck. Absolutely worth driving down to the fucking driveway. Absolutely driving worth backing up my driveway. This is it, boys. I'm oh god. I love how the box is basically a mirror. Hi, how are you? Um I've been in love with the X20 XD05 since the XD05 was the XD05. Now there's an XD05 Plus, an XD05 Basic, and this is the one we've all been waiting for. Even though um, people seem to think it was going to be two watts a channel, and it's only going to be one watt a channel, which is the same as the unbalanced one, so why have a balance? But I do believe this one has Bluetooth built in. Those are op amps. What is this? This is like, this is no joke. I could bake cookies in this. It's not metal. I don't think it's metal. No, it's just like very, it's like holy shit, very. Did you hear that? This is not cardboard. This is like a wood, like an MDF made into metal. Um, I guess we'll do the stuff that is invisible first. Are you just a keychain? I think you're just a keychain. I think that's a thing. It looks like we've got 
op amps, which are the operational amplifiers, which can change for better ones like Burson ones. Um, DAX have them sometimes. Uh, yeah, so that's interesting. JRC, these. Take the unit out. That's girthy, that's got girth. Um, put that back, put this back. We're doing this like a gentleman. Holy fuck, it's so slippery. It, what, it, what, what is this? This is officially, like it's not cardboard. They painted like MD, like HDF, like clipboard wood. They put a sticker on it. Um, step one. I couldn't tell if that was my camera beeping. We've got a three pin mini XLR to three pin mini XLR. Well, now I'm confused. Um, we've got a USB to USB-C adapter. We've got a USB-C orange cable. I can't wait to put that up. I've been waiting. I don't think I've waited for a product with as much anticipation as this balanced thing. I'm pretty sure that's like it. Here's an adapter so we could use that to plug it into a regular computer. That's done. This has many, many things. Hold on. We've got a silicone pad that's all squishy. It says X2 for putting it between this and your phone, which you're never going to do because that thing is fucking giant. We've got many, holy fuck balls. We've got USB C to uh, Apple Lightning. We've got USB-C to USB-C. We've got USB-C to USB Micro. Like, what's using Micro? Like, that's there. That's good. In fact, another one. So, what's the big one now? Books and ooh, tools. Oh, they're giving me. They're giving me the tool, bruh. Okay, we have got. Is it the same ten? It is. It's the same 10 rubber feet because this unit definitely needs 10 rubber feet. It's also got two um, plugs that you can put in to three and a half millimeters. You can plug those three and a half millimeter holes up um, and they're also able to push the reset button. So I've seen those before. So those are there. We've got a thing of absolutely fucking minuscule. These are like ant sized screws. No idea why and a three and a half millimeter to quarter inch adapter, which we need because it has a quarter inch. And that is followed by a very, very, very small, let's say what this is, a T4, a T4 star head. That is fucking tiny. I think the ones that come with um, Fio for changing out the bottom parts of the Fio thing are like a T6 or a T7. T4 is absolutely hysterically small. I'm actually gonna need this book. I will read this book. Oh, it's a quick start guide. And of course it folds out like a fucking map. And of course it's in Chinese. There we go, English. I don't know what this thing. Five hours, five hours fast charging, 11 hours slow charging. Okay, the unit itself. Top of the unit, glass here, which is why I think there's Bluetooth built in because you can't have a metal box and have Bluetooth work. So glass here and glass here. Um, we've also got, I don't know what that is. Is that a microphone? There's like a little shower drain there, a little perforated piece of metal. I did not notice that in the, the early views of this glass there as well. So um, this side has Bluetooth button. So there's Bluetooth, filter and input, smooth, very flush. I don't think you'll accidentally hit those. You have to get over them and then that's probably the best implementation of a button I've seen because it's there. It's absolutely flush, but you can't, like I can't, I'm not accidentally pressing any of those right now, but if I go there, yes, I love that. This side, volume knob. Um, usually the volume knob is out front, but they needed more space for the balance. So we have a volume knob on the side. I don't know if I hate this yet. It, it definitely is more towards like pocket use and not accidentally hitting it again. Although I, it might be difficult to like fuck with it if it's in your pocket. But guess what? This is Bluetooth. So you're gonna just have this in your hand the entire time while your phone's in your pocket. Wipe that screen off. The back has auxiliary in and out, three and a half millimeter. The right side is coaxial or optical in and out, probably in. 
So it'll do optical or coaxial in. There's a five volt uh, DC three uh, USB-C. There's a USB in USB-C. We have the switch for battery or external power, which is nice. So that means you can use it on your desk. Cause a lot of times like the Honey H1 that I use, you can't switch the battery off. You have to leave it plugged in all the time and it uses a battery. It's bad for the unit. Um, but this, you could literally go, I want to use a battery or I want to use external power supply. This apparently is an adapter to use AES, which is just basically coaxial digital again, but a balanced format. So it has more transmission length. I guess they expect you to plug this into another thing that has AES. That's absurd. That would just be absurd. You'd be better off with the USBs, I think. I'm pretty sure. And the front has quarter inch, 4.4 Pentacon. We've got the power on or off as a switch right in the middle. They keep moving where the power is. It used to be the volume knob, so now it's not the volume knob. So now it's not that. And then we've got a boost and a two-way gain, not a three-way gain. Usually these are three-way gain. But I always said it was so stupid. Just make it low and high and be done with it. So that's it. Let's turn this bitch on. And nothing happened. I probably have to charge it. Although it should turn on even if I didn't have to charge it. Interesting. We'll see. Um, it's just a 5 volt USB. It's just this to charge it with a thing. I am so, wait. Maybe I did. Like they don't even make it easy to see. Like what the how the fuck I. Do these what unscrew here? Yeah, those are what unscrew there. Um, so I guess the op amps. I'm hoping. These aren't the only op amps that I have to open this up to install it. There's actually instructions here. Let me look for a second. Is she a girthy unit. She's thicker. I think, is she thicker? She's smoother. I kind of like the old school like ridges on the last one. This is a much smoother unit to hold. But it's got Bluetooth built in, so fuck it. If it's got Bluetooth built in, I'm fucking sold. I'm fucking sold. I want a heavy duty, powerful fuck you amp deck that I could sit on my ass on my couch that doesn't exist and watch Listen to headphones. Okay, so. Okay, make sure the unit is off. Score screw, take off the face. Um, uh, grip, oh, you slide the, it's just showing the top and bottom sliding apart, and I don't see how you could do that. But yeah, you take it out, and then you install, how to replace the op amp chips. Fuck, I'm gonna have to do this for my review, aren't I? God damn it. All right, I'm gonna go charge this up. Um, and then you'll see a review. Probably, it may have come out before the, the way these work. These way these videos work is if I don't, if I'm not like, if it doesn't come out, because I may not even upload this for another like, two weeks. Because Pasta has plenty of unboxings, but I'm going to be using this for two weeks. So there's actual there's a race between the unboxing and the uh, the video. So I'm done. You're done. We're done. I got some pads to try out, and this motherfucker, hallelujah.